Slightly Foxed, or The Widow of Bayswater. Decades ago, wits, poets and dukes circled like planets round Gloria Dukes. Blue stocking, tuft hunter, grande amoureuse, was ever a salon, brilliant as hers. Her name still turns up, though she's turned up her toes. You meet her in memoirs, they still quote her Moe's, and old crones remember her faults and her furs. Such foibles, my dear, such sables were hers. A wrecker of homes and a breaker of hearts, she talked like a book and encouraged the arts. Political hostesses envied her poise and said they preferred conversation to noise. Her cook was a dream, her pearls were in ropes, she furthered ambitions, she realised hopes, lent Dowson a fiver, put rouge on her eyebrows, enchanted grandees and reconciled highbrows. A climatized novel bohemian behaviour in the stuffiest house in Victorian Belgravia, and when St. John's Wood was abandoned to orgies, behaved like a dignified bride at St. George's. A personage paid to her regal poitrine, a compliment royal, and she looked like a queen. But of some Ruritanian kingdom, maybe, all plastered with gifts like a Christmas tree. When her guests were awash with champagne and with gin, she was recklessly sober, as sharp as a pin. An abstemious man would reel at her look, and she rolled a bright eye and praised his last book. She twitted George Moore, she flirted with Tree, gave dear Ryder Haggard material for she, talked scansion with Bridges and scandal with Wild, to drink water drank and Crackenthorpe smiled. Brzezka and Brooke were among those she knew, and she lived long enough to meet Lawrence's, too. D. H. and T. E. She, who'd known R. L. S., talked to Hardy of Kim and to Kipling of Tess. Now she's been dead for more than ten years. We look round in vain to discover her peers. The Gloria, it has often been said, is departed, and a new and inferior period has started. But tucked right away in a Bayswater attic, arthritic, ignoble, stone-deaf and rheumatic, there still lingers on by the strangest of flukes, yes, Gloria's husband, Plantagenet Dukes. Ignored in her lifetime, he paid for her fun and enjoyed all the fuss. When she died, he was done. He sold up the house and retired from the scene where nobody noticed that he'd ever been. His memoirs unwritten, though once he began em, he lives on a hundred and fifty per annum, and once in the day totters out for a stroll to purchase two eggs, the times, and a roll. Up to now he has paid for his pleasures and needs with books he had saved and that everyone reads, signed copies presented by authors to Gloria in the reigns of King Edward and good Queen Victoria. They brought in fair prices, but came to an end. Then Dukes was reduced to one book-loving friend, a girl of the streets with a smatter of culture and the genial ways of an African vulture. To this bird he offered the last of the lot, a volume of Flecker beginning to rot. She opened it, stormed, Go, blimey, you're potty! Do you think I can't see that the pages are spotty? Your flecker is foxed, you old fool, and I'm through. Then out of the door in a tantrum she flew, leaving poor jokes in the blackout in bed, with his past and a book and a bruise on his head. <laughs>